Dr. Disrespect, a streamer that was loved within the Twitch community and was one of the biggest streamers on Twitch's platform. For his unique personality, his great gaming skills, and overall just being a loving and entertaining streamer to watch, would gain him a bunch of fans and followers. But one day, in the year 2020, Dr. Disrespect would randomly get banned on Twitch. Nobody would know why Dr. Disrespect got him banned. He wouldn't come out saying why he got him banned, nor would Twitch say the reason why he got him banned. But four years later, an ex-Twitch employee would create a tweet and this exact tweet would tell us the reason why Dr. Disrespect had gotten banned off Twitch. And the reason why Dr. Disrespect got banned off Twitch, because he was talking explicit to a girl that was not of age on Twitch Whispers, even planning to link up with her on TwitchCon. Now you're probably wondering, what is Twitch Whispers? Twitch Whispers is basically where you can DM or message people on the Twitch app. Now at the time of that tweet being posted, not many people believed that was the reason why Dr. Disrespect had gotten banned due to there being no proof or evidence whatsoever. Now after this tweet, the situation started to get very serious and started to get very popular. Now Dr. Disrespect was aware of this and he would start posting tweets about the situation, but this wasn't the answer that everybody was asking for. They wanted to know if Dr. Disrespect was guilty or not, but the next Day, Dr. Disrespect would create a tweet basically explaining everything and stating if he's guilty or not. The Twitch ban. Hello, I'd like to make a quick statement. Let's cut the fucking bullshit. As you know, there's a no filter with me. I've always been up front and real with you guys on anything that I can be up in front about and I'm always willing to accept responsibility, which is why I'm here now. First and foremost, I do want to apologize to everyone in my community as well as those close to me and everyone at Midnight Society Game Studio. A lot of people have been left in the dark about what happened yesterday with Midnight Society, and I and we made the painful decision, collectively, to have me step down. Our team is full of incredible, talented, and good people that have high career ambitions, and families I would never want jeopardized. The culture we have carefully crafted. Everybody has been wanting to know why I was banned from Twitch, but for reasons outside of my control, I was not allowed to say anything for the last several years. Now that two former Twitch employees have publicly disclosed the accusations, I can now tell you my side of the story regarding the ban. Were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. Were there real intentions behind these messages? The answer is absolutely not. These were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes leaned too much in the direction of being inappropriate, but nothing more. Nothing illegal happened. No pictures were shared no crimes were committed. I never even met the individual. I went through a lengthy arbitration regarding a civil dispute with Twitch, and that case was resolved by a settlement. Let me be clear, it was not a criminal case against me, and no criminal charges have ever been brought against me. Now, from a moral standpoint, I'll absolutely take responsibility. I should have never entertained these conversations to begin with. That's on me. That's on me as an adult, a husband, and a father. It should have never happened. I get it. I'm not perfect, and I'll fucking own my shit. This was stupid. Without all this said, don't get it fucking mistaken. I've seen all the remarks and labels being thrown around so loosely. Social media is a destruction zone. I'm no fucking predator or a pedophile. Are you kidding me? Anyone that truly knows me fucking knows where I stand on those things with those type of people. Fuck that. That's a different level of disgust that I fucking hate even hearing about. Don't be labeling me as the worst of the worst with your exaggerations. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. But I think I said what I needed to say regarding the ban itself. That's it. That's why Twitch made the decision in 2020. What I find crazy is that he claims that he is not a predator. But literally in the tweet, he explains that the conversation with him and the minor would eventually get inappropriate. Meaning that Dr. Disrespect is a predator. If you're a grown adult and you have sexual conversations with a minor, you are a predator. He also says that he has a wife and kids, which makes this even more disgusting. I truly believe that Dr. Disrespect is not sorry whatsoever. Dr. Disrespect is a 40 year old man who was fully aware of what he was doing in that conversation with the minor and he doesn't deserve any pity whatsoever but after that tweet he would go on live stream saying that he's taking time off social media kind of have a, a little bit of a little bit of an announcement um and i just want to be completely transparent with you guys uh as you guys know i have a, a beautiful family and a wife and kid and um i want to be transparent that i've been unfaithful and <laughs> and uh and i'm probably going to be taking some time away 
t- time off to focus on um <laughs> stupid fucking mistakes man <sighs> I'm gonna take time off to focus on my family and and so I just wanted to let you guys know that and I apologize to you guys and Slick Daddy you guys are I apologize to you guys my sponsors and Twitch Dr. Disrespect would start to lose a bunch of partnerships and sponsors. For an example, Turtle Beach will end their contract with Dr. Disrespect. Dr. Disrespect would also lose a large amount of subscribers and probably still going as we speak. Even people that Dr. Disrespect was cool with would start to unfollow him. Oh my God, my boy. Go take that break, bro. <laughs> hey, look, no. Hey, this, hey, hey, look. Hey, look, bro. Just go take that break, bro. Like, just, like, you know, go go reevaluate your whole life and shit. You know, damn. Why you unfollowed him? Oh, I just, I I like, I don't know, chat. I'm about to. I, I gotta unfollow a lot of niggas. It, it, it's just a. It's just a. Bah. People were also making diss tracks on Doctor Disrespect. And also, of course, people started making memes of the entire situation. Honestly, this is probably going to be the last time that we ever see Dr. Disrespect. We shouldn't have disgusting people like this on social media anyways. But this is the end of the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.